Yo, what is going on, guys? It is Boyd of Kill, as you know. And today, what I've got for you is another absolutely insane gameplay. As you'll see, this is not on the map Newtown. This is Combine. It is a little bit of a different map today, obviously. I like to switch it up, as you know. One Newtown, one non Newtown. I, I like to keep it like that, keep everything fresh. And uh, today is a crazy gameplay. It is a really super high kill gameplay and a double nuke killer. There's a couple things I want to talk about, but you know, that's the basis of the gameplay of what you'll be seeing today um also the nukes are pretty fast as well so that's also just an added bonus and i go on absolute tear and get mad amount of mad amounts of kills also um in this video obviously people always ask me like how to get like better at the game and stuff and i'd say that from watching this video myself there's definitely a lot of things you can take from the way i'm playing in this game that you can apply to your own gameplay so just bear that in mind um because people are asking me more and more as i give more tips like uh what's the best way to get better and honestly it really is just watching how, what i do and applying it to yourself so just Bear in mind that as you watch the video, take some stuff in, and, uh, you know, hopefully you can uh, maybe get better yourself from that. Yeah. Also, everybody who's been, you know, taking tips from me and tweeting me and telling me that my class setups are working for you and stuff, I'm super glad that's working out for you. Those of you who haven't, definitely try some of my stuff out and, uh, you know, stuff like that. Hopefully you will see that. The announcement video I was talking about as well will be probably in my next video, so be looking forward to that. Big news coming, and, um, yeah, that's going on. But, uh, you know, this gameplay, like I said, it's uh, a little bit of a different gameplay because it's a high, high kill gameplay and nuclear. This is a little bit of a different thing to go for because, you know, oftentimes if you go for a nuclear, you get the nuke and then you don't really do anything else in the game. Or if you have like a double nuke, you usually only get the 60 kills or around 100. But in this game, I ended up getting, I think, 160 plus. And um, I was a little bit confused when I was getting this gameplay. I didn't really know whether I wanted to go for the 200 or the double nuke. And I ended up going for the double nuke, which I don't know. I don't really regret at this point because, you know, I can definitely go back and get a 200 plus on combine. Like the map just works like that. Which is another thing I was saying yesterday, if you are going for nuclears, nuclears, sorry, or fast ones in particular, which is what was yesterday was based on, um, maps like Nuketown and Combine are perfect because they're really small and the action's really high, which is also, like, just small maps are the perfect thing for every sort of gameplay in Call of Duty, you know, like high kills, you know, the spawns are always going to be pretty close, so even if there is a spawn flip, you can always just take those enemies out, so, um... Uh, yeah, but in this gameplay, I was playing with subs from, uh, and, you know, viewers from my Twitch, and just i don't know it, everything just worked out for me this game usually you know when you pick random people up they don't really you know comply and they just do their own thing try and run around and get some kills but shout out to these dudes for not being like that you know they they actually did everything absolutely perfect and there was a few little mistakes in in small places but you know they, for the most part they did exactly what i wanted to they held spawns no one really rushed in and it ended up turning into a pretty nice gameplay so i appreciate those dudes and i hope you guys do enjoy the gameplay yourselves as well um but uh yeah the best way to play combine to be uh, is you want to maybe have your team in the middle, you maybe want to have one guy holding the spawn, if you are playing in a six man, that is, that's my main point of really covering, uh, what I'm doing today, you know, I want to know, I want to teach you guys maybe how to run in teams, because oftentimes I do always talk about how I play solo, and there's really no guide you can do to playing solo, apart from, you know, just run around, don't take into account your teammates, because you can't really trust them, and just see what you can do, and, you know, there's no specific way of playing solo, it's just, you uh, do your own tactics and hope it works out, you know, but six man teams are a little more tactically based, you know, um, there's a lot more goes into it because, you know, communication's key. These dudes obviously weren't having a 14 or how many seconds is delay on the stream. So, again, shout out to them for being LT, you know, um, keep up with me and do everything I was, like, asking them to do, even though they couldn't hear me in real time. So that was pretty cool. But, uh, you know, one of the main things is holding spawns. You want to have one guy in the back making sure the enemies don't flip spawn. In case you guys don't know what that is, if I'm running into the spawn like you'll see I do in most of my high kills gameplays, if not all of them, then the enemies will find another spawn because obviously the game is made so that you don't kill someone the second they spawn from being killed again and because that's obviously called spawn killing they're always around it but you know i don't really like to do that in my videos because that's a bit of a boring thing to watch i do like spawn trapping which is a little bit different it's where you kind of keep them on one side of the map as you'll see i picked up the first nuclear there and you know that was a pretty quick streak and now we go on the next one but um anyways that's what i like to do it means you basically just keep them in one sort of controlled area so you're not killing them when they spawn uh you actually usually never see anyone spawn but you know you're just running around the area so it's pretty much just like running spawn solo um but making sure that spawns don't flip that can happen while you're playing solo but like i said in a six-man team it's a lot easier to make that happen you just have to have one guy cover and flip spawn obviously they will spawn that even if you have a guy there but you know he, he needs to be ready to take that guy out um but yeah 
that's one thing you want to have done. Also, make sure not... I, you know, spawns usually don't flip if there's just one guy running in there. As long as he goes in, kills all the enemies, and then runs straight back out. Because it'll, he'll be far enough away that they can spawn in their own spawn again. Because that's obviously what the game wants to do. It wants to spawn them in their home spawn where it thinks they're going to be safe. And that's how the game runs. So as long as he can get himself out like you see I do. I jump in, I kill a lot of people, I run away again, and then I come back. And they're all there again, ready for me to kill them. Which is basically the main way you get fast nukes and um, high kill gameplays. So that's the basis of it. You know, you run in you wait, you kill everybody, you wait for them to uh, respawn, and then you go back. Obviously, that's the way you do it. And you want to be keeping them in one kind of spawn area because you don't want to be running back and forth and uh, stuff like that. Also, another thing, you want to have most of your enemies, uh, well, teammates covering one side. So you want to have one dude covering, or one or two guys covering flip spawn. Uh, so you want an anchor, so someone holding spawns. Another guy maybe holding the flip spawn. And then you want to have a couple dudes to back you up just in case you do die. You don't want to let them out because then it takes so much time to get them back where you want them and um, things like that. Let me, guys, let me know if you dudes do want me to do more guide videos on my channel uh that's something i want to introduce that's kind of one of the announcements i guess you could say but um i just want to you know maybe do some more guideline videos because people are forever asking me about tips and i want to make videos fully you know contributed and dedicated and uh, aiming at those specific things and you know maybe a little bit less gameplay based obviously keep all the gameplays that I'm doing now but uh, you know add in some tips and tricks kind of stuff in the middle and stuff of how to do things Cause obviously I play the game a lot and from playing the game a lot you pick up a lot of tips which is another way that I uh, suggest to people to get good it, for example something like aiming you can't really improve your aim unless you have like a physical um, advantage over someone for example control freaks are supposed to help you aim but I don't use them I also don't have a scuff right now um, and you know, it's kind of working for me anyway, which, uh, people were saying in the nuke video, which kind of, you know, disappointed me. People were saying, oh yeah, but you need a scuff to get fast nukes, but you don't because the gameplay you were watching, I got without a scuff. Most of my gameplays, and I haven't been using scuff for the last three weeks. So most of my gameplays you're seeing all without a scuff. And, uh, you know, like you really don't need a scuff to do well. It's obviously a big, big help because, you know, it's a physical advantage over someone, but you don't need that. And also the same thing with aiming. Um, control freaks and things like that, add-ons add to the controller can only help you so much. Honestly, it's just uh, time spent grinding out the game and just improving yourself because obviously if you make a mistake, then you know how to correct it next time. For example, I was watching one of my buddies play the other day and he was using the VMP and the VMP Iron Sights has like a little needle thing that points up and he was kind of just aiming in the enemy's gen general direction then shooting at them and he was like, oh, my aim's so bad. And then I told him, you know, you need to line it up with that needle and he would go into gunfights and then he'd spend a little bit more time correcting his aim so that that needle was on them and he would kill them and on obvi obviously you know to get better at the game you just want to be doing that and you know seeing the mistakes you make taking that out and then just correcting it little by little and eventually you know you'll have it down you'll be able to you know just go around doing everything and that's pretty much why i've done as some of you dudes will know i've been playing cod for eight years now since a very young age and over that time obviously i've had a lot of time to perfect uh perfect everything and i can give you little tips on stuff i've picked up over the years of me playing obviously i'm gonna learn a lot of stuff in that time but i also learned that one of the best ways completely to get better at a game is just to grind it out um because, for example, that was my problem with Black Ops 2. Everybody always asked me, oh, why do you hate Black Ops 2? But it's basically because I didn't play it very much when the game came out. And then, you know, I fell behind everyone. Everybody had already learned how to do it. And, you know, they were just better at me. I have the gun skill of a good COD player because, you know, I play a lot. And, you know, I've obviously got it in other games. Um, but I just I didn't put enough time into the game. I didn't grind it. I didn't learn everything. Learning maps is one of the most important things you can do. I didn't learn anything, so I was lost. I didn't know the weapons to use. And everybody just got ahead of me and the movement system system and stuff you know it the movement system really didn't change much back then because it was boots to ground but um just little things like that but putting time into a game definitely makes all the difference like me not grinding out the beginning of that game ruined the entire year for me don't get me wrong i still had a good time playing mw3 which is one of the reasons i got really really good at that game because you know i like i said i grinded it out i spent lots of time on it and every little mistake i made i managed to correct and that's what makes you a better player you want to just spend more time on it if you truly want to get better it's like anything in life you know if you want to get better at a sport or playing a musical instrument then you practice those things and eventually after practice and practice and practice you will get better obviously you think you have people like your coach or your instructor, whatever you want to call them, they help you out and give you tips as well. But some stuff, you know, it's just about grinding out and then doing it yourself. That's honestly something one of the best ways to learn is by doing it yourself, and eventually, you know, you'll get there. But uh, yeah, tips like that, I just want to be thrown into uh, videos. You know, right now I kind of throw them in and talk about broad areas, but I want them to start making maybe videos where I focus like specifically on one sort of area, maybe help you guys out a lot. 
and you know maybe cut out some of those questions of like how to get better and then i can just refer you to another video and definitely help you guys out which is definitely one of the reasons i watch youtube as a uh, cod player myself or as any game player obviously you know when i used to play other games and stuff i would look up guy videos of how to do stuff how to do stuff better for example when i used to play destiny a ton those you do who are into destiny i would look up the best ways to like farm stuff best ways to level up and get certain gear and things and you know just from watching those people even if it's not a tip video just from watching them play the game you can pick up stuff and also you can do you can watch specific guide videos on how to do stuff, which is what I wanted to be doing. Uh, I picked up Nuke not too long ago. You'll see that was the second one. It was a little bit longer than the first, but, you know, like I said, I make. I wanted to make sure I got the double Nuke. And now, you know, now I just go on and rampage and just kill everybody I can. But, uh, yeah, so I want to be doing both on my channel, you know, videos fully dedicated to tips and tricks. And, you know, if there's anything really specific that a large majority of the people on the channel want to see, just so I can help everybody out in one go. And then also throw in sort of little mini tips in my videos like I already do now. And also, you know, you can just watch me and take in tips yourself if you're, you know, more into the gameplay and stuff. Obviously, there'll be gameplays as well. But you know what I mean? Like, I want to specifically focus on some things every now and then just for you guys. That's like I get asked a lot. And I feel like that's, um, you know, it could benefit everyone. And I think it'd be fun for me to be able to say you know i'm helping you dudes out and i can teach you something anyway we're closing into the end of this gameplay i hope you guys did enjoy it It was pretty crazy i enjoyed playing it and i just love getting high kill gameplays and quite fast and multiple nuclear they're a really good time for me you know i've always said i like high kill gameplays and fast nukes and these were both two relatively fast nukes a really high kill gameplay and it was on a different map combine i'm definitely enjoying that a lot more i'm learning the map more because i put more time into it around the race you know before nuketown got introduced i was like really really good at combine because that's like the only map we would try and play we just keep playing over and over and over again because we wanted to like level up as fast as possible and combine is just a sick map for that because it's so small like i said before and you know just me grinding that map out got me much better at it which um just reinforces my point before and then i stopped playing it for a while and now i'm learning it again and it's just a sick map i i found that with every map if i play a map more then i definitely get a lot better anyway i hope you guys did find some of the tips in this video useful it was mainly a gameplay video but you know i thought i'd throw a few tips in there as well and let you guys know a little bit what's going on anyway i hope you guys did enjoy the video if you did drop a like if you're new subscribe if you want to see anything specific from my channel in the future there's a lot of big changes coming soon um so be on the lookout for that but let me know in the comment section below and i will see you guys in the next video sweet